Hey everybody, Terry coming back at you with another snooze review. I know what you're saying, finally. <laughs> All right, well today we're going to be taking a look at something totally new. I just got another order in and I finally got a little bit of extra time, at least a few minutes, to uh, go ahead and do a review for you. Hopefully I'll be able to get it posted before too awful long. Today we're going to take a look at something that I just came across that's totally new to me. Thunder Extreme Strong Original Snooze. Now, this is actually designed to be marketed in the United States and the United States only, apparently. It was FDA approved somehow. I don't know how they manage that. And at this point, I really don't care. Let's take a look at the packaging here. Nice, clean lines. Beautiful artwork. Uh, I like how they... Uh, Modified that X so it looks like uh, two arrows kind of overlapping each other rather than just a solid X. You know what I mean? Uh, you have the US warning label down here. Might be full of shit, but it doesn't matter. Got the five out of five dots up top uh, signifying that it is a strong snooze. Normally that means like extreme strong, but in this case it's dealing with the Americans, not Swedish. So their idea of strong is a lot different than the US. We're going to start at the warning label, which is really strange to me, but we're going to start at the warning label here, work our way around, snooze, nice like blended in X right there, which I really like, Thunder Extreme, five dot, original strong, and it's 24 portions, yeah, 24 gram net weight, 24 full one gram portions. The nicotine strength on this, from what I understand, is a 12, 12 uh, to one ratio. Now, the catch lid, full width catch lid, and you and I both know how much I like that. And I kind of like that there's just one little spot right here to grab a hold of that catch lid, you know? So they don't have a wide spot here or a wide spot here, nothing like that, just tiny little spot. Makes carrying it in your pocket actually very easy. Portions themselves, actually nice and moist. They got a, a lot of moisture to them and fairly dark as you can see. Portion material is nice and soft. And I'm gonna throw one of these in, huh? Time to hammer up! I'm gonna let that flavor develop before I actually start talking about the flavor. You can see that the portions, there's 24 of them in there. They're nice and moist compared to some of them that I've run across, especially lately. And the strange thing about this, other than everything on the back being in English, it's best until March 31st, 2020 which means it's got a decent shelf storage life, which is, is kind of impressive to me. But I really love the cans on these, okay? Clean lines, kind of an edgy look to it. What some people would call distinctly American, but not really. I mean, shit. Bunch of the others have the same thing. But this I really like because it's kind of a, a real edgy feel to the can. The thing I don't like is you cannot remove the warning labels because... Uh, FDA are bitches. So I'm going to let this flavor develop. I'll be right back with the review. I've had this in for 20 minutes, give or take. All right. So the scent on this, you've got bergamot, a, a real almost sweet smelling tobacco. I wouldn't say that it's a, it's definitely not an earthy tobacco. It's a real sweet smell to the tobacco. Maybe a little bit of lemon or citrus of some kind. And it seems to me that I smell just the slightest, slightest hint rose oil in there. But I could be wrong about that. But yeah, that's that's a very pleasant profile for the scent. Now, as for the flavor, it's a, a fairly strong tobacco flavor to it. But the tobacco itself is just slightly sweet. It's not like over the top sweet is just a very hint sweetness to the to the flavor. It's got distinct bergamot, but not overpowering bergamot like say general. It's not overpowering for the to the flavor, you know. Just 
enough of that bergamot oil to really bring out the tobacco flavor. I don't taste the citrus in there. That's more in the scent. And I really don't taste the rose oil. So perhaps I was wrong about the, the scent of rose oil on there. If it was in there, it was just a tiniest hint of it. The, the tobacco is really front and center on this. And there's just enough of that bergamot oil to really bring out the flavor and and just it does a very good job i wouldn't say it's a, a completely round flavor profile i would say that it's more kind of one-sided more towards the tobacco rather than anything else but that bergamot really does complement the tobacco very well as far as last ability on this stuff uh the last this is only the second lip of this stuff that i've had but the first one lasted me about an hour and a half and there was still some flavor in there of course i didn't bring very much water to work with me today so i've been kind of rationing my water out that might have been uh what helped this stuff last so long it lasted about an hour and a half and it's got a really really nice nicotine kick to it not over the top nicotine kick where it makes you all woozy and and some weird shit, but a nice nicotine kick that you can still keep functioning very easily, no problems, no nothing, not even hiccups, but you still you still feel that that nice solid nicotine. This is actually probably my new favorite right here. And that's no joke. I I really do like this stuff. We'll see how how well I like it when I get through the 10 cans of it that I ordered. I ordered 10 cans of this, so we'll see how I feel about it after the 10 cans are gone. I got this on Snooze Central. I'm told that it's also available on Northerner. It wasn't bad. I think this was three something a can before shipping. I ordered 10 cans of this, 10 cans of the red, which I am still going to review for you later on. And I'm told that there's a couple more flavors coming out this year, actually next month, which I'm actually really looking forward to because I really need a wintergreen snooze that's the same caliber as the wintergreen flavor in dip. And I'm told that they're coming out with wintergreen and mint, both in the strong portion. And if their wintergreen is as good as this, I'll definitely be getting me quite a bit of it. Maybe like a stupid amount. You never know. It is me after all. <laughs> definitely, I would give this a shot because to me, this is this is fantastic. For an original snooze, this is the top of the line. No holes barred, no joking around, no nothing. All right, well, y'all take care. I hope the summer has been very good to you. I'm gonna be using some new editing software when I edit this together i have lost my intro entirely so i'm gonna have to build up a new one over the course of time sorry i saw a buddy y'all take care you're watching hammer up i'm out